Today we're gonna take a look at 4 useful Blender add-ons that you might have missed. Made by Emil Wiering, these awesome add-ons will help you create fire simulations, add animated details to water surfaces, easily create sewing stitches, and new shaders for Blender projects. We're gonna start off with an add-on called Ignite. We know that Blender Fire Manta Flow simulations are static. The inflow object would generate fire endlessly from the same object or spot. Ignite adds a completely new type of physics simulation. The flame no longer is bound to one spot. You can start a small fire and watch it spread and consume the whole object while leaving behind a charred surface. Ignite Combustion Simulation will simulate heat diffusion and spreading across the surface with the material change as they go through the stages of burning. It is also possible to use a custom dynamic shader, and the add-on will be included with an easy and customizable material mixing node group. Furthermore, you can adjust all the different burning characteristics, and you can pick between multiple combustion nodes such as quick fire, fuse-like burning, or wood fire. And using the blender's built-in flame and smoke functions, it is extremely easy to make flame and smoke appear from the Ignite simulation. The add-on is also compatible with add-ons such as Blaze, Wisp, and Chaos. The flame will be animated and move over the surface according to the simulation, matching perfectly with the material change. After installing Ignite, you will get a new option in the Physics tab. Once you tick the Ignite checkbox, you will get access to all the settings and parameters for the fire simulation. What you are getting here is animated physically based weight map that the fire simulation can use to animate the fire. But first, you have to paint the starting point of the fire. From the vertex panel, you will see four new vertex weight groups. Make sure to use the Ignite input group, that's where your fire is gonna be generated from. However, when trying to preview the animation of the fire, or you want to use the animation to generate the fire and smoke, make sure to use the Ignite fire group. On the physics properties panel, you can control the fire settings such as fire intensity, fuel consumption, heat diffusivity, and much more. The second add-on is Vortex Fluid Enhancements which will allow you to add procedurally animated details to the surface of your water or other fluids. Using data from the actual fluid simulation, waves will form realistic shapes, and you get a lot of details that you won't get unless the resolution of your simulation is much, much higher than that. The add-on achieves this level of detail by generating accurate normal maps from the details that get lost by converting fluid into a mesh. Also, it comes with a physically-based water shader. It works with all objects as the simulation data can be easily replaced by a constant flow speed or custom flow map texture. So you can, for example, use Vortex to add details to an ocean modifier. Additionally, you can apply extra effects such as wind and foam effects on top of the other features. Panel Stitcher is an add-on that helps you place instances of one mesh along the edges of another. This will allow you to make details along edges such as rivets on metal panels, wooden furniture, stitching on clothing, or bolts along train tracks or ships, in addition to other stuff as well. Basically, the possibilities are endless. You can pick any mesh you want. The animal will find the hard edge and place the instances along the edges. With different modes of customization, you could even mark the sharp edges in edit mode manually, and the animal will use that to place the stitches. This add-on is also very versatile. You can mix different placement options, for example, you can inset edges or randomness to get a completely different result. What's more, you can use custom element meshes, kit bash pack as well, and you can make them yourself. The add-on also allows for a really awesome feature that I personally like, which is projection. When dealing with high-resolution meshes, such as sculpts, you end up with a lot of stitches everywhere. That's why the add-on allows you to use the geometry of different objects and use them as pattern templates so the stitches would follow the level resolution object edges and project them on the high poly ones. The add-on is really easy to use. You have the source field where you can pick the source object, collection, or template, and you can control the scale, pacing, offset, and the corner of the instance object. And you can get access to six filters that can alter the behavior of the add-on, such as restricting the angles, area, or only using the edges marked as sharp, in addition to seams, and you can apply to a certain section as well. At the bottom, you can take the randomized transform, which will allow you to customize the stitches, which will allow you to randomize the stitches sideways, in addition to lengthwise and instances rotation, which will add a lot of realism. Iridesis Film Shader is a collection of shaders packed into a blend file that will allow you to take advantage of 15 pre-made physically accurate iridescence materials. 
you can think of iridescence as the interference of two thin materials on top of each other, which gives the surface this rainbow effect as the color of the surface change according to the viewing angle and how much the material is illuminated. This is a shader node with different presets that model thin film interference. The effect creates materials such as soap, oil, or pearls. The shader itself is built on physics equations and takes into account physical concepts such as rayless scattering, wave interference, internal reflection, and absorption. So when using a shader with iridescence, it will look realistic in any environment or lighting. If you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.